Have you ever wondered how to mine bitcoins? Well, you're not alone. In this fast-paced digital age where traditional currencies are taking a back seat, Bitcoin has emerged as a new age gold rush. It's a digital currency, yes, but it's so much more than just that. It's an investment, it's a technology, it's a revolution, and mining it? That's the equivalent of striking gold, digitally speaking. Imagine being able to tap into this digital gold mine, right from the comfort of your home. Imagine being part of a global network validating transactions and securing the Bitcoin network, and the cherry on top, the potential rewards. At the ripe age of 21, I mined a whopping 75.4 Bitcoins. Sounds exciting, right? Want to know how I did it? Want to learn about the intricacies of Bitcoin mining and how you can get started? If you're curious to find out more about how to mine Bitcoins, then stay tuned. So, what exactly is Bitcoin mining? Well, imagine a massive global competition where participants solve complex mathematical puzzles. The winner is rewarded with a shiny new Bitcoin. This, in essence, is Bitcoin mining. But let's delve deeper. Bitcoin mining is the process through which new Bitcoins are brought into circulation. It's much like mining for gold. Except instead of physical tools, miners use powerful computers to solve these complex puzzles. The first miner to solve the puzzle is rewarded with a set number of Bitcoins currently at six and a quarter. This is how new Bitcoins are released into the world. But it's not just about creating new Bitcoins. Mining also serves another crucial purpose, confirming transactions. For every transaction made with Bitcoin, the details are added to a public ledger known as the blockchain. But before a transaction can be added to the blockchain, it needs to be confirmed. This is where miners come in. Miners take a group of transactions known as a block and run it through a special software to generate a hash, a unique string of numbers and letters. This hash is then added to the blockchain confirming the transactions in the block. But generating the correct hash isn't easy. It takes a lot of computational power and electricity. This is why miners are rewarded with bitcoins for their efforts. Moreover, miners play a significant role in maintaining the integrity of the bitcoin network. They prevent double spending, a scenario where someone tries to spend the same bitcoin twice. They do this by confirming each transaction and ensuring it hasn't been made before. So Bitcoin mining is more than just creating new Bitcoins. It's a vital part of the Bitcoin ecosystem, keeping the network secure and transactions flowing smoothly. So now that we know what Bitcoin mining is, how does one go about it? Well, stay tuned to find out. There's a lot more to learn about this fascinating world of digital gold digging. The process of Bitcoin mining may seem complex, but it can be broken down into simple steps. So, let's dive in, shall we? First off, you'll need a mining rig. Think of this as your digital pickaxe, the tool you'll use to mine Bitcoin. This isn't your average desktop computer, but a specialized machine designed to solve complex mathematical problems. Now you might be asking, why are we solving math problems? Good question. Solving these complex problems, or hashes, is key to verifying Bitcoin transactions. Every time a transaction is made, it's added to the Bitcoin blockchain. But before it can be added, it needs to be verified. That's where the miners come in. Miners use their rigs to solve these hashes. The first miner to solve the hash gets to add the block of transactions to the blockchain. But the process doesn't stop there. Once the block is added, it's time for the reward. This is where the term Bitcoin mining really comes into play. Just like miners who strike gold, Bitcoin miners are rewarded for their hard work. The miner who adds the block to the blockchain is rewarded with a certain amount of Bitcoin. This is known as the block reward. But here's the catch. The more miners there are, the harder it is to mine Bitcoin. This is due to something called mining difficulty. As more miners join the network, the difficulty of the mathematical problems increases. This means that you'll need a more powerful mining rig to compete. And let's not forget about hash rates. A higher hash rate means a more powerful mining rig and a better chance of solving the hash before other miners. So, if you're serious about mining, you'll want to pay close attention to your rig's hash rate. That's the process in a nutshell. But what do you need to start mining? To start mining, you'll need some specific equipment. As in any venture, having the right tools can make all the difference. In the world of Bitcoin mining, there are three main pieces of equipment you'll need. A mining rig, a stable internet connection, and mining software. Let's start with the mining rig. This is essentially the computer you'll use for mining, but it's not just any old desktop. A mining rig needs a powerful processor and a high-end graphics card to handle the complex calculations involved in mining. There are pre-built rigs available for purchase. 
but many miners choose to build their own to save on costs and create a system tailored to their needs. Next we have the internet connection. Mining Bitcoin is a 24 7 operation and it requires a stable, high-speed internet connection. You'll be exchanging data with the Bitcoin network constantly, and any interruptions can mean lost mining time and potential earnings. It's important to have a reliable internet service provider and a good router to ensure your mining operation runs smoothly. Then there's the mining software. This is the program that will connect your mining hardware to the Bitcoin network. It will monitor your rig's performance, control its power usage, and handle the actual mining process. There are several different mining software options available, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. It's worth doing some research to find the one that best fits your needs. Finally, we can't forget about the costs. Setting up a Bitcoin mining operation isn't cheap. You'll need to budget for the rig itself, the electricity it uses, and any maintenance or upgrades it might need. The initial investment can be significant, but with the potential profits from mining, it can be well worth it. With the right equipment in place, you're almost ready to start mining, but there's one more thing you need to know about. Stay tuned as we dive into the risks and rewards of Bitcoin mining and how to navigate this exciting yet unpredictable landscape. Mining Bitcoins is not without its risks, but the rewards can be substantial. Let's delve into the world of Bitcoin mining where the line between risk and reward is as thin as a razor's edge. On one hand you have the potential for substantial returns, a true gold rush in the digital age. On the other hand, the volatility of Bitcoin's value and the high energy costs of mining pose significant risks. First off, the value of Bitcoin is infamously volatile. It's a roller coaster ride of highs and lows that can turn a profit into a loss in the blink of an eye. One day, you might be sitting on a digital gold mine and the next, you could be staring at a pit of losses. This volatility is a significant part of the risk in Bitcoin mining, and it's something every potential miner needs to consider. Then there's the energy cost. Bitcoin mining is an energy-intensive process. It requires high-powered computers running around the clock, consuming vast amounts of electricity. In some places, the cost of electricity can outweigh the value of the Bitcoin's mined, turning a potential profit into a definite loss. Plus, there's the environmental impact to consider. The carbon footprint of Bitcoin mining is substantial and growing, adding another layer of risk to the equation. But let's not forget the potential rewards. Despite the risks, Bitcoin mining can be highly profitable. The allure of unearthing digital gold has drawn many to the field, and some have reaped substantial rewards. Those who can navigate the challenges and weather the storms of volatility can find themselves in possession of a valuable digital asset. It's a game of strategy, skill, and a bit of luck. It's about knowing when to mine, when to sell, and when to hold. It's about understanding the market, the technology, and the trends. It's about making smart decisions in a high-risk, high-reward environment. So, is Bitcoin mining right for you? Only you can make that decision. But now, you're armed with the knowledge to make an informed choice. That brings us to the end of our journey into the world of Bitcoin mining. We've traversed the labyrinth of this digital gold rush, from understanding what Bitcoin mining is, to the intricate workings of verifying transactions and adding them to the blockchain. We've explored the equipment necessary to mine Bitcoins, from powerful GPUs to specialized ASICs, and even the importance of a reliable power source. We've also delved into the risks and rewards of this venture, from the potential for significant profits to the volatility of the Bitcoin market. This journey has shown us that Bitcoin mining is not merely a get-rich-quick scheme, but a complex process that requires understanding, preparation, and a bit of daring. It's a world where the right knowledge can turn silicon into gold, and where each new block added to the blockchain is a testament to the miner's skill and perseverance. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Remember, knowledge is power, and now you've got the power to mine bitcoins.